This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to more crazy adventures with Lotta Hart and Miles Edgeworth. In Miles Edgeworth Face for Attorney Investigations, Prosecutor's Path, we're at the beginning part two of Grand Turnabout. Who uh, knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, even I don't Party remember. What, I, know, know. I know everything that happens. I just don't remember the order that it happens oh, in. So, okay. I think we're going to the trial, though. Yep, we're going to the trial. We're at court. Oh, it, Francisco's there. And, um, uh, uh and Raymond um, Sh Uncle Ray. I was Ray. about to say, uh, the cool jazz guy. I cool remember. jazz guy. <laughs> Raymond Shields. April 6th, 11, 23 a.m. Court, wow, uh, a district court, court judge. number three. Who's there? Nobody's there. Court is now in session. Is the defense ready? Of course, Your Honor. We can begin whenever you want. The prosecution has been ready from the start, Your Honor. Jill Crane, the attorney in charge of the defense, has passed on from this world. Furthermore, Sebastian DeBest, the prosecutor in charge, has disappeared. And so, Francisca and Mr. Shields have taken over their duties. Oh yeah, uh, that makes Cause he Because he ran away crying, basically, when his dad, like, horribly, ab verbally abused him in front of everyone. Yeah! I mean, I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope DeBest is doing better. Maybe he, like, He's fled, doing the better. <laughs> maybe, maybe he, like, fled to a better country and, like, found a good host family. Maybe he went He's to... returning to Nina Fafa. No, no, he's, like, going on to British Bake Off. He's like, well, I, I don't I, really think I... Do I, couldn't, I can't believe that I got into British Bake Off. Then again, I am the best. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, he would be the one who would make, like, a tomato upside down cake. <laughs> it's the best idea because no one else will do it. Yeah, exactly. I can't taste the tomatoes. Oh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing, yeah. <laughs> Before we begin, I would like to apologize for the delay of today's trial. As the crime took place in the prison, a place where justice is normally administered, and the defendant was the warden of the prison, further exacerbating the situation. Additionally, time was specifically arranged to investigate and prepare for the trial. My goodness, I almost sneezed. <laughs> that would have been dreadful. Oh dear. In addition, the defense attorney in charge of the case, Jill Crane, looks like she's done drugs on that picture. That's she, rude. She also recently passed away. <laughs> she's, she's just saying it in all of this. No, she, wow, she's she ugly. She has such big eye bags. She looks like she's just wearing like five inches of makeup. No, she doesn't. Otherwise, she'd look a lot better. <laughs> Due to these circumstances, the trial was further delayed. Mr. Shields, Miss Von Karma, at this time, I'd like to give you my gratitude for taking up the responsibilities on short notice. I guess this is the last job Courtney Pye's friend left behind for us, huh? Well, Uncle Ray's more than happy to help out. Although, having said that, I only had enough time to skim through the case files. <laughs> this is like the first case of anything. Yeah. I didn't really look at the court Never. record. <laughs> Are you okay on your end, Franny Pye? What kind of prosecutor abandons his own case and vanishes without a trace? I won't allow any more delays in this trial while we wait for that foolish man to return. I have I have received the evidence just now. There should be no problem continuing the trial. You have my thanks. And with that, I hereby call the defendant Patricia Rowland to the stand. Patricia. 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 But you don't think you'd be voicing her again? Oh my goodness, I have the most annoying voice. Now then, will the prosecution please give their opening statement? Very well, Your Honor. The defendant... Please wait, Your Honor. What is it? Well, there's something I'd like you to fill me in on. Just what exactly am I doing in a place like this? Then perhaps you would do well to listen to the opening statement. Hmm. So if I listen to it, I'll get it, huh? All right, then, let's hear it. That was the plan from the start. Now, if you would kindly shut up and listen. The incident occurred in the defendant's... Uh, the defendant? <laughs> the, the detention center and the prison Warden Roland is in charge of. The victim is Horace Knightley, who was being held in the detention center. You know, I kind of forgot that happened. The this is going to be a problem! <laughs> no, I know, like, exactly what happened. I just forgot that case was this game. 
The That's the problem. <laughs> Francisca's just laughing, unfortunately. The prosecution is certain that this woman here is the culprit. The knife, the murder weapon, is the decisive evidence. Huh? Miss Von Karma, is something wrong? Th that's impossible! The evidence is... What's wrong with the evidence, Franny Pie? The evidence? The knife's gone! The chisel with the Dogen's bell attached to it is missing too! What? 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 Oh, there were people there? Order, order. Prosecution, pr prosecution Von Karma. What is the meaning of this? I... I don't understand it either, Your Honor. If there's no evidence, then I suppose there's not much reason for me to be here. I hid everything in my coat. <laughs> Some prosecutor can't even hold on to one little piece of evidence. What a dunce. I... I only received everything that the previous prosecutor had. Ah! It appears the culprit is that pampered prosecutor, the boy Blunder. Hey, Courtney Pie. What is it? Your Honor, considering our predicament, what say we postpone the trial until later? Overruled. The defense's proposal is overruled. Eh? C Courtney Pie. I know, right? It'd be troubling for me if this trial would be delayed any further. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be troubling for you, Miss Murderer. <laughs> Why can't she have her dog or whatever in there, too? <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> He's lovely. I just want everyone to know that I'm innocent as soon as possible. You had a huge epic breakdown at the end! Innocent? I've had more than enough of your foolish... And besides, you don't even have any evidence, right? I recall a certain saying. In court, evidence is everything. Wasn't it? Since there's no evidence, that would make me innocent. Isn't that right, Your Honor? <laughs> there's some visual glitches happening. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> what? The prosecution has not produced sufficient evidence to prove the defendant guilty. I'm just mad. Yep. As such, I hereby find the defendant, Patricia Rolla. Objection. Hold your horses, Courtney Pye. You can't just declare her innocent all of a sudden. Is something the matter? For the defense to object to a not guilty verdict. Well, I mean, even if you must know that the warden over there is guilty, right? You were there with us when we found the murder weapon. Mr. Shields? A judge must remain impartial when handing down a verdict. That would be so hard in real life. Like, what if you see Get a different it? judge! I was about to say, they shouldn't have Courtney be the judge. Beardy should be the judge. Beardy? No, Beardy's in jail. Oh, oh, wrong Beardy. Oh, the judge. Beardy. The judge Canadian should be. Beardy. <laughs> oh, hey there. Hey, wasn't oh. it Canadian Beardy? Wasn't that... He, he is Canadian, yeah. That's his brother. I just realized, the, uh... There's the, regular, the judge, the judge's brother. The regular judge must have lost his Canadian accent. He's lived in Japan and for a long yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I cannot allow myself to get caught up in my own personal feelings. The person who was present when the murder weapon was discovered and the judge sitting before you now are two completely different people. You're kidding, right? I can only hand down a verdict based upon the evidence that was presented. There is evidence! It's just... Well, it's not here right now, but... A few minutes, that's all I need. I'll find the evidence and return to court without fail. It's probably what Gummy got called for. The prosecution requests a brief recess, Your Honor. The, the defense would also like a recess, Your Honor. I, I really got, need to use the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney Pye, please. I understand. I shall grant you re your request. Well, Justine, darling, aren't you wishy-washy today? This court will now adjourn for a 15-minute recess, during which the prosecution and the defense shall prepare for the resumption of this trial. Understood, Your Honor. Phew, that was a close one. Court is now adjourned. April 6th, 11.38 a.m., District Court, third floor lobby. We've Trash been here can in the or past. Drinking fountain, I don't know. Drinking remember. fountain. Drinking fountain. Did we find it? Didn't we find it together? The evidence? Yes, we certainly did. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. Huh? What's the matter, detective? It looks like the metal detector is reacting to this alligator. Really? Why? 
Of course. That's why the metal detector reacted. Judge Courtney, I'd like you to take a look at this. The chisel? Wasn't that just the fake murder weapon? Dogen hid this chisel inside the dog's mouth. And the real murder weapon was hidden in very much the same way. The real murder weapon is in the pond inside the alligator. I wonder if it was stolen by someone. Mr. Edgeworth! Uh, I don't actually remember who this is. Oh, I, I forgot these two came back. <laughs> they did? Miss Barry and Mr. Keys, did you come to attend the trial? I came because I heard there's a really fun show around here. So where is it? The trial for the case I got caught up in was supposed to have already started, but... Our practice ran a little late. I believe it was somewhere around here, wasn't it? Actually, two key pieces of evidence have gone missing. The chisel and the knife. The trial is in recess now. Sort of like an intermission. You just missed it, Simon. What? What? What, 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 what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Looks like Simon's gonna get arrested again. How are you laughing about that? <laughs> no way, no way, no way! I can't! Hmm, I guess Simon is his usual noisy self. Huh? To think that I would be humiliated like this! I'm assuming, yeah. Yeah. And here comes another noisy individual. There's a guard there, too. Now, now, Franny Pie. Let's just take a moment and calm down a bit. Maybe you could put that whip of yours away, hmm? What do you say? That foolish prosecutor! When I get my hands on him! My whip is going to give him the thrashing of a lifetime! <laughs> Miles, why don't you try talking to her? Good grief. On that note, I guess I should probably hear what she has to say. Oh! Well, Talk we... to people! No, Talk wait, to I'm not... <laughs> what? There's a notice post in front of the water fountain. Step on the pedal to enjoy amazingly delicious water. However, once it starts flowing, it will never stop again. So please be prepared. So this fountain is basically out of service. Alright, let's do this! Are you prepared? Calm yourself, Kay. Uh, yeah, because the water fountain was malfunctioning in the uh, flashback oh. case last game. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you think? Where do you think you're going? No, I wasn't going anywhere. I was just examining the door. Oh, I see. It's the number one rule of a great thief. Ensure your escape route. Good thinking. If you want to become the Yadokarasu's assistant, all you gotta do is ask. Since it's you, I'll let you skip the written exam and skills test. I'll hire you on the spot. Th that's quite all right. I appreciate the sentiment. Talk to the people. Talk to the bush. It's a model of the courthouse. <laughs> We're just ignoring just Simon. Ignore me. <laughs> hmm. There's something written on the information Look at panel. Kate. It looks like Ray has an extra arm. <laughs> hey guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Press the button to activate robot transformation sequence. <laughs> Reservation required to review, review the transformation show. Please inquire at the front desk. This model courthouse. Transforms into a robot? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, um... Hmm? She's unusually quiet. I thought she'd make a fuss about wanting to see it. If the model can transform, does that mean that this courthouse can also... Kay, I assure you, that's not possible. This isn't Transformers. But perhaps there is more to this courthouse than meets the eye. Talk to... Is there anything we can do? Well, actually, I just got a great idea. If we put on an animal show inside the courtroom, everyone would be caught up in it. And then maybe they'd have to delay the trial another day. No way, no way, no way! If we did something like that, I'd get arrested for sure. Nah, you'd be fine. The courthouse not so cold as the court's not so cold as to arrest someone for showing everyone a good time, right, Mr. Edward? I would prefer if you didn't flagrantly encourage such criminal behavior. Dude, look at his pants. <laughs> yeah, his pants. His pants are terrible. They're like jorts. <sighs> Ugh. Who wears jorts? Simon. Kay, Simon. looks like you've gotten your memories back. Yeah, I'm all better now. Uncle Ray was really worried, you know. He forgot. We Though forgot. that other Kay was also pretty cute. Well then, now that you've recovered, how about a hug for old time's sake? No. Nope. We need to focus on the trial right now. Yeah, things aren't looking good. <laughs> how about a hug for old time's sake? 
At any rate, we'll have to search for the evidence. But we can't interrupt the trial. Hmm, Uncle Ray's in a pickle. If only there was someone who could find the evidence for us. That look of expectation on your face says it all. Miles, you still don't have your prosecutor's badge, right? Do you really feel like, finally feel like following in your father's footsteps? Hmm. I simply left it in someone else's care. I wasn't stripped of my badge. Furthermore, right now I am unable to follow in my father's footsteps. I see. Well, there's no need to rush your decision. Take all the time you need to determine the path you want to follow. In any case, the door is always open for you at the Edgeworth Law Offices. <laughs> Mr. Shields? He's got a kick Mom theme song. He's like, what the heck? The courthouse is so much fun! There's even a wild animal tamer here! A wild animal tamer? Her showmanship could use some work. But that lady really knows how to handle a whip. Although, in her case, her whip is used to tame humans. Talk to the man. You get to talk to him. During the recess, I would be in the courtroom! <laughs> really? You had a bad day, man. <laughs> no one can get in? Like I said, during the recess, no one may enter the courtroom. Like nobody can go in, nobody can resume the trial, and we'll be stuck in a recess forever. <laughs> You're right. We're all too. <laughs> wow. Mr. Edgeworth, do you like how I pointed out the contradiction just now? I don't think you'll gain any useful information by pressing the bailiff. Oh, that's the same vein. <laughs> We're not talking, except we can't skip it. Oh, okay. Now we can see him crying up close. Okay. That's weird, it's the exact same dialogue for both. Oh no, he's just sweating. Yeah, the bailiffs don't cry. <laughs> I love that movie. Bailiffs don't cry. <laughs> that's. A, I would watch that, actually. Alright. Uh, hey, Franzi. Finally! You haven't even talked to me in forever. Oh, if it isn't the former prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth. Francisca? Those who have abandoned the path of a prosecutor do not belong here. Now be a good boy and go home. Figure out what you want to do with your life. Still, what are you going to do, Francisca? The recess is only 15 minutes, and it's, at this point it's only like 5 minutes. Ugh, you're always so calm and collected! Like an anchorman reading off of a teleprompter! I can't even talk! It makes me sick! I should probably stay classy and avoid a confrontation with her for now. Franziska, I never expected you to end up taking over the prosecution for this case. The bodyguard of the president of Zane Fa, Horace Knightley, was murdered. The defendant is the former warden of the prisoner. The prisoner. <laughs> also the prisoner. P Patricia Rowland. The knife she used at the mur as a murder weapon has been prepared for evidence. However, the murder weapon has disappeared without a trace. Not only did he abandon his own case, but he also made me look like a fool in court! No! The next time I see that foolish fool of a prosecutor, I'll whip some backbone into him! I don't mind if you whip some backbone into him, but stop whipping innocent bystanders! If only there was someone who could go search for the evidence for us. Very well, I'll go look for them. Oh, Miles, you do that for us. Of course, finding the evidence within 15 minutes will be no easy task. Get a taxi. <laughs> well, if worse comes to worse, Uncle Ray and Franny Pie will help you stall for time. Dude, I can't even get to class in 15 minutes. You think you can find evidence in 15 minutes? <laughs> Until you recover the evidence, we won't let her hand down a verdict. Please do so. Franziska, are you okay with this? You're asking me, Francisca von Karma, to help you out? You'd better be off spe you'd be, be better off spending the rest of your life as an anchorman for the local news. I would watch the local news of Edgeworth with <laughs> anchorman. Everyone would. All the girls would. All the girls would. They'd be like, oh my gosh, she's so hot. And when he's He's here, you're my sweet dream boat lover boy. Oh, <laughs> oh no. thank you, Mr. Jaw. What? Oh, is that from Bugs Bunny? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Miss Von Karma, this is an emergency. We could really use your cooperation. Hm. 
I understand. <laughs> we'll buy you Culver's afterwards. <laughs> as, an, a, as an acting prosecutor, I, along with that attorney over there, shall continue this trial so long as you give me Culver's. Meanwhile, you, the former prosecutor, shall run around and look for evidence. All for my sake. It's a job that suits you perfectly. All right, don't, don't be a smug little... I'm not going to finish that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad that you're on board. I'll help out too, because I, I really don't want to get arrested again. <laughs> This sounds like fun! Regina wants to tag along, too! Alright, that would be helpful. Can you put on, like, a skirt? Or some shorts? <laughs> or jorts. <laughs> I, no, jorts. I would rather see a leotard than jorts. <laughs> now then, where should we begin? I think we should go find that person and hear what they have to say. What person? The bailiff? Who should we talk to in order to learn where the evidence went? Gumshoe? No, we should actually talk to, uh, the, 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 the best. <laughs> yes. The person in charge of the evidence was Sebastian DeBest. Ah! You mean that rookie prosecutor, right? Got it! I'll leave him to you. What? Alrighty, time for Uncle Ray to have a strategy meeting with the opposing counsel. He's not gonna be, like, hanging out in the bathroom. <laughs> Just the two- <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, you'd better not keep me waiting, lest you end up like your friend here. Yes, I'll keep that in mind. Franny Pie, wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> now then, let's go help look for Sebastian as well. Oh, hey, Zelda. Ah! Judge Courtney. If it isn't Prosecutor Edgeworth, I hope that all is well. All is not well? Just what was going on in that trial earlier? Okay, there's no need for that. But... Even though Miss Courtney should know exactly who the culprit is, what made you... In a court of law, the only thing that truly matters is evidence. Whatever my own feelings may be, it should not affect the verdict. So, is this the judge persona of Justin Courtney we're seeing? Cold-blooded and heartless. It's fine if you think of me as such. Even as a judge, she's still this stubborn. Judge Courtney, there's just one thing I'd like to ask you. And what would that be? Two nights ago, you went to the roof of the Grand Tower. The roof, you say? You met with the president there, correct? The two of you were caught on the security camera. Ooh, they were caught on the security camera. Is there some sort of problem with that? Today, the president's body was discovered, very close to the Grand Tower. That's... You understand now, don't you? You're a suspect. No one informed her of this yet? What happened between you and the president up on the rooftop? Nothing. We merely spoke for a few minutes. Oh, once our business was done, I headed straight home. I took the elevator back down alone. Indeed. That was shown on the security camera footage as well. What exactly did you and the president talk about? That... I cannot say. I see. However, I cannot afford to let up just yet. That being the case, heh, I guess my only remaining option is to use that. She is definitely hiding something, and I'm going to draw it out of her. With the Yadagorasu's badge! Time for everyone's favorite dimensional minigame, Logic oh, Chess! Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Two nights ago, Judge Courtney met with President Juan. Oh, good lord. It is true that I spoke with the President Huang on the roof of the Grand Tower. I think Frank saw it also had four pieces, though, so... But Frank saw it, like, we hit him once and all four of them broke. <laughs> no, no, they didn't. <laughs> However, we only discussed business. There's no need to tell you what was said. Hmm. Just like in the trial earlier, she won't reveal her personal feelings easily. When she's speaking as a judge, it would be better for me to wait and see what develops. Now then, I'll start by asking her what she talked about with the president. <laughs> Begin logic chess! What did it do? Oh, okay, that was easy. Could you tell me what you and the president talked about? My meeting with the president was strictly business. And since it has nothing to do with you, I am not obliged to answer your question. Wait and see. I appreciate your understanding. 
Even so, you certainly are a very busy person, aren't you? You're a member of the PIC and a judge as well. You even assist with the investigations. I am simply fulfilling the professional duties that I have been assigned to be. Was your meeting with the President also one of those duties assigned to you as a judge? Yes, of course it was. I am one who lives for the law. I would never act outside of my professional duties. Do you help me out this morning? This she morning, you returned Kay's promise notebook to me. See, interestingly enough, she shakes. And the screen shakes whenever she's slightly like, oh. Mm-hmm. So. I don't believe that all of your actions are simply done for the sake of your duties. It's true. It seems I still retain some immature qualities. I wouldn't call it immature. It was your own personal kindness. Weren't you also distressed when you found out the president had passed away? Yes. It is very unfortunate. Why did he have to die? It seems he was crushed by the head of a monster called the Mighty Muzilla. Ah, uh, excuse me. You see, Muzilla is... Is that true? You mean... The president died at the temporary Mozilla film lot? Yes, that's right. I'm surprised that you know about Mozilla. Yes. She is Mozilla. She's a huge <laughs> fan. No, what if she was the actor, actress? She was in the, the Mozilla costume in the photo. <laughs> that would be funny. I had heard about it from Sebastian. He told me that the movie was being filmed near the Grand Tower. So I guess she's still in contact with him. Hmm. She seems awfully shaken up about that. And I'm also curious about Sebastian, who went missing along with the evidence. She said she wouldn't talk about the president. However, I might be able to get her to reveal her secret through another line of questioning. She is Ooh. flustered beyond normal. There must be some reason behind it. Where is the pro 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 prosecutor? Where's DeBest? Professor DeBest? <laughs> professor. Francesca may have taken over the prosecution in Sebastian's place, however... As long as he still possesses some of the evidence, the trial cannot proceed. I intend to carry out a fair trial. If the prosecution is unable to present evidence, the defendant must be declared not guilty. Wait. You and the defendant are both no, guilty. No, that's stupid. <laughs> Why is this easier than Lada's? Because <laughs> Lada's is like, I'm going to make the time to plead four times faster. <laughs> I'm impatient. I'm a busy woman. <laughs> judge. I cannot allow my own personal feelings to get in the way. So, you're saying you're not the least bit worried about Sebastian's whereabouts? Of course I am. I'm worried about Sebastian as well, but... Are you worried, are you worried about, about anyone, anyone else? else? You're worried about Sebastian as well? Wouldn't that mean that there is someone else that you're worried about? Oh, well, she cried. Uh, no, she didn't. I saw something fall down. No, I think that's just her, like, <laughs> shivering. Okay. By any chance, would that person have something to do with your unnatural behavior? That's impossible. I... I am a follower of the law. I will not be swayed by personal feelings. Uh, wait and see. This recess is not very long. If you've no business with me, then I shall take my leave. Should have pushed uh, more there? Hold on, please! It seems I waited a little too long. Dang. I must read my opponent's reactions and emotions and strike with the right words. Remember, if you mess up, it'll be this, this much! much. <laughs> I like the music here. It's It may be true that those who stand in court have a duty to follow the law. However, we're not superheroes. You and I are only human. It is impossible to completely ignore your own feelings and render an impartial judgment. Ah! It is as you say. As I am now, I cannot hand down an impartial verdict. Judge Courtney, why don't you tell me the truth? I... I... Just what am I supposed to do?! Ooh, Whoa. That, that's a new one. Whoa, man. For Judge Courtney to become this distraught, I should find out exactly who she is searching for. She's searching for the, uh, what's it? Gordy. The, the assassin. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's so important to me to find Gordy. <laughs> Up until now, she has been wearing the mask of a judge. This time, I should be able to draw out her true feelings. 
Whoa, whoa, uh, are you searching for Mozilla? <laughs> I'll just start with the stupid one. Are you searching for the mighty Mozilla? I don't have the time to play along with your jokes right now. It's not a joke. Just a moment ago, you were surprised to learn that the president had been crushed by Mozilla, correct? Th that was... I simply was surprised by the president's cause of death. To think that he passed away at the temporary film lot of all places. What's wrong with where he died? From the way you're talking, it seems you have a problem with where he died. But that's not true, it's just... For the president to have passed away in the film lot, a place where dreams are made. I thought that was Disney World. <laughs> I just thought it would be- That's where dreams come true. Oh, true, <laughs> they're not made there, they're made at Pixar Studios. <laughs> Why, why did you say it like that? It the big <laughs> sad <laughs> studios. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it would be better if the movie's cast and crew remained unaware of the truth. Uh, sta staff member found the body. I'm very sorry to say this. However, the movie's cast and crew are already aware of the president's death. I encountered a female staff member and John Marsh at the crime scene. No! <gasps> How could it have come to this? Hmm. She seems to react strongly when it comes to the staff of the Mozilla film. What if she and Penny were siblings? That's your theory. Or, or what if like John Marsh? Penny was, Nichols like, and Justine Courtney. What? Okay, sorry. What if they were cousins? Or like John Marsh was like I don't know. Maybe she's like the godmother of him or something. Interesting. Or, what if that? Would, whoa. This could be a useful clue. I did that in the right order. Are you searching for Prosecutor DeVest? Is the person you're searching for Sebastian, by any chance? I couldn't care less about him. When no. Sebastian learned of his father's true colors, he went into hiding of his own free will. I am worried about him, but this may be a trial he needs to overcome on his own. <laughs> wow! Wait and see. It's not much of a trial. Since he went into hiding of his own accord, he could return whenever he wanted to. Could it be the person you're searching for is unable to return under their own power? In regards to that, my lips are sealed. I am unable to talk about it right now. When I think about what might have happened to that child if I talked... What's that child you're speaking of? What child is, is this? this? <laughs> that child? Could you tell me who you are referring to? It's nothing! Please pay no mind. Judge Courtney's expression has changed. It seems I've managed to uncover a clue. Perfect order. <laughs> really? Yep. Wow. Judge Courtney, tell me who you are searching for. My lips are sealed. That is not something I can talk about right now. Let me try using that clue. Da, da, da. Could it be that you're searching for that child who has gone missing? <gasps> Since you said it was a child, I presume they're of a young age, correct? I simply cannot answer any questions about him. That boy has nothing to do with you or the president's assassination. Let me try using that clue. Wow, I was on fire! Earlier, when Muzilla was brought up, it seemed to be a sensitive topic for you. Is that child you spoke of involved with the Muzilla movie? Ah! How? How do you know that? You're usually so calm, yet you seem rather distraught right now. Poor Courtney. Please tell me, who is that child? I understand. If you've come to know this much, I shall prepare myself for the worst. The child I am searching for is a boy by the name of John Marsh. John? Why do you want to know his whereabouts? Well, that much I simply cannot say. Judge Courtney, didn't you say you were prepared for the worst? Even if you don't intend to talk, I am determined to expose the truth. That is my resolve. Oh, guys, the, the trial's supposed to come back like 20 minutes ago. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing logic chess right now. Why is, she, why is she searching for John? I must get her to this tell me like the reason. The, the, is logic chess like the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 3, that trailer where they're like playing chess? And they're like, ooh. N no. <laughs> now, like, are they actually playing chess? Are you acquainted? Oh. Where is he? Are you a fan of his? Uh, are you acquainted with him? Are you acquainted with John by any chance? He is a 
famous movie star. I doubt there is anyone who doesn't know who he is. I actually hadn't heard of him until I met him today. That just proves you have much to learn. <laughs> One who knows nothing can understand and nothing. nothing. <laughs> Allow me to give you a lesson. I know everything about him. <laughs> What's, What's his, his favorite, favorite food? food? I could, uh, no, I'll wait and see. Not, I couldn't care less. My apologies. <laughs> I seem to have lost my composure. You tend to lose your calm whenever the conversation turns to John, don't you? Uh, in any case, while I may know everything about John, it is a one-sided relationship. Oh, you're his stalker! <laughs> I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Okay. Maybe I should try another line of attack. Okay. Uh, are you a fan? Are you his fan? Could it be that you're a fan of John Marsh? Yes, yes. That's right. I have all of his collectibles! I am a big fan of John Marsh, the famous child actor who's been called a prodigy. I don't think he's a prodigy. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait and see. There's a lot of wait and see with her. I knew his movie was being filmed in front of the Grand Tower. So the temporary film lot has been on my mind. I see. I suppose a fan would be curious about that. Mm. Did you know that John was at the temporary film lot? Yes, of course I did. He said that they would be filming there all day today, and yet... Did you hear that from him? You sound like, like a stalker. stalker. It almost sounds as if John himself told you personally. She's her his nanny. She <laughs> picks him up after every practice. <laughs> She's judge, like, <laughs> investigator, PIC member, nanny. nanny. <laughs> she needs that dough. She's not married. <laughs> I don't know. Ah... Uh, I doubt he would give his schedule to a mere fan. That's true, isn't it? Please don't pay any mind to that statement. She made another slip of the tongue. She must be really worried about John. So, she has spoken with John. This could be a useful clue. Where, are you, uh, where is he? Actually, we are searching for John as well. Would you happen to have any idea where he might be? Why would you think that I would know where he is? John and I, there is no connection between us. I don't have enough clues to proceed really? with this line of questioning. Okay, well, let's go back. Maybe then. I should try another line of attack. All right. Acquainted. Nerd. Are you acquainted? <laughs> Welcome to the universe, the Muppet Studios, where dreams come true. <laughs> I know everything. Wait. We have to watch her bow. Over. All right, let's try using that clue. I understand that you're worried about him, but aren't you a bit too flustered? You told me earlier that you had spoken with John. Doesn't that prove that you are indeed acquainted with him? Ah! Uh, uh, how could I have committed such an indiscretion? It appears that John and Judge Courtney are acquaintances. This could be a vital clue. Alright, let's do the thing. Boo boo. Let's try using that clue. Ooh. I don't know what kind of relationship you have with John, but at the very least, the two of you must have been acquaintances. <laughs> Judge Courtney, won't you allow us to help you in your search for him? Help? No, that won't be allowed. Who won't allow it? The so-called goddess of law? The person you know- who knows where that child is. A kidnapper? Holy crap! Is this getting intense? This might be getting intense. A Pope I see. <laughs> Finally, I've connected all the pieces of the puzzle. The reason why you cannot easily talk about John, it was because someone kidnapped him, isn't that right? <laughs> Judge Courtney, I would like to hear the truth from your own lips. I understand. This time... I will truly be prepared for the worst. It is just as you deduced. Someone has kidnapped John. As I thought, there was a kidnapping. Still, how is John's kidnapping related to you in any way? John and I are... Siblings? Half-siblings? Mother and child! That was my second op- that was my third option. Mother and child. What? 
I was unable to learn much about the conversation she had with hold the up, president, hold up, but... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, we can't check the court record. I have learned of John's kidnapping. It was an unexpected result, but with that, it's checkmate. Who did she marry? Or is she a single mom? Isn't he, like, 13? He's 13 and she's 23. Okay, so hang on. Uh, uh, John Marsh is 13. Oh, skipped her, and she is 26. Did someone rape her at 13? Maybe we'll hear more about oh, that. Oh, God. What? John is Miss Courtney's son? No way. I mean, he's already so big for him to be your... Yes. John is indeed my son. Please look at this. I'm horrified. Uh, up and coming child actor. Maybe she. Maybe she adopted him. This. Uh, uh, I feel so uneasy. Okay. It, it'll be alright. Okay. Worry. This is a clipping from a magazine. It's an article about John. Do you always carry this around with you? Yes, I always keep it close by. It's like a charm to me. Oh, it's like, um, <laughs> what's his face from, uh, Liberty's Kids? I always keep my letter from Ben Franklin. <laughs> I don't remember that. You don't remember that? <laughs> I'm a free man. No, who's Oh, oh, Moses. Moses, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, that letter doesn't mean anything in the South. <laughs> oh, yeah. That guy. It's, it's a little different than that, <laughs> Marty. <laughs> I know. That's all I can think of, though. It seems the bond that they share is a strong one. However, are you absolutely certain that he's been kidnapped? Yes. I received a call from the kidnapper just before the trial started. What were their demands? They had only one demand. A not guilty verdict for Patricia Rowland. Uh, so it's like, farewell my turnabout, but for the judge. <laughs> I see. Why for Rowland? <laughs> so that's what happened. Since there's no evidence, that would make me innocent. Isn't that right, Your Honor? That is correct. The prosecution has not produced sufficient evidence to prove the defendant guilty. As such, I hereby find the defendant, Patricia Rowland. So that's why you are going to deliver a not guilty verdict earlier. I am not qualified to be a judge. A judge must be able to remain impartial and composed above all else. That's why I won't do it. And yet, despite this, in the trial just now, I... I was about to hand down a verdict that was led solely by my heart. Judge Courtney. The goddess of law must be furious with me. But I simply couldn't do it. I couldn't hand down a fair verdict if it meant I had to sacrifice my own son. Well, of course you can't! In the first okay. place, they should have had someone different. A real parent would never abandon their own child. If that makes me- if that makes the goddess of law angry, then maybe the goddess is the one who's wrong. The goddess is guilty! GUILTY! Isn't that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Indeed. To declare a goddess guilty. We're responsible for upholding the law, but at the same time, we are only human. Nobody would hand down a verdict that would sacrifice their own child. Thank you very much, Mr. Miss Faraday, Prosecutor Edgeworth. However, I cannot simply run away from the courtroom. You go for it. Um, uh, Judge Courtney, uh, so this is where you've been. <laughs> uh, it, it appears it's, it appears it's, it's time. Why are <laughs> yeah, you talking? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Miss Courtney! My father, he was a prosecutor. Your father? Yeah, he stole, stood in court just like you. And now, with all that has happened, it's got me thinking. What if my father had been in the same position as you are now? If a prosecutor was being co coerced into obtaining a guilty verdict, I know, if my life were on the line, that my father would definitely come to steal me back. Steal you back? Miss Courtney, why don't you let us take care of it? What? I'm gonna go steal John back for you! As the second Yadagarasu, I, K Faraday, give you my word. She looks like Korra there from Legend of Korra. Yeah, a little bit. Why don't you come and find out? Heh. <laughs> so the great thief Yadagarasu plans to steal the truth, huh? What say you, Judge Courtney? Will you place your trust in your, your young great thief? 
Prosecutor Edgeworth. And if it's all right with you, I wish to help as well. Thank you very much. Simon's like, guys, I found Sebastian. Like, I thought, why would go? <laughs> I know that it, it's really not my place to ask this of you, but please do whatever you can. Please save John. You got it. Just leave everything to us. Allow me to leave my cell phone with you. She has a Mozilla with the uh, Mozilla keychain <laughs> with an ear gone. You may get a call from the kidnapper at some point. You have my word. I will ensure the safe return of your phone, along with your son. And I will do everything in my power to prolong the trial. Okay, she'll just okay. So Courtney, she's not married. I'll just say that. Yeah. Okay. She's not married. So she's single mom, also being a judge and investigator and a PSC member, and she's basically Sebastian's she's mom as well. She's gotta make that mula <laughs> somehow. Also, how is, she's awesome. How is Justine going to prolong the trial? She'll be like, "Well, everyone, I." I think we need to hear a testimony about how great this new cereal is. I, I, was, gonna say, I was literally gonna say, "I brought some Rice Krispie treats." <laughs> Why do we both go to cereal? I don't know. But. Even then, at the most, the trial can only last for about two more hours. That's all the time I have to tell you Five my entire life story. My entire life story. <laughs> two hours, huh? So until 2 p.m., that's our time frame. I must return to court. Miss Faraday, Prosecutor Edgeworth, I shall leave the rest to you. <laughs> we're all gonna die! Yep. Heh. <laughs> okay, I thought you were taking a break from being the great thief. As of right now, the great thief Yadagarasu is back in business. All right, time to put on the gloves and hit the pavement. It's my first request, after all. Is that so? In that case, we'd better begin our investigation post-haste. If we hope to track down John. <laughs> Where'd he run off to? He might have just gone back home. That's right. I mean, it doesn't look like they're going to get any filming done today. Or he may have run away. We should probably begin our investigation from the front of the Grand Tower. Hey! Hold it, Mr. Edgeworth. You're not the one in charge anymore. From here on out, this is a job as for the Great Thief, which means I'm the leader now. If that's the case, then what am I supposed to do? Mr. Edgeworth, you get to be the first ever Great Thief's yes assistant. Yes assistant. So I'm a thief's assistant now. All right, let's get going. Great Thief Yagarasu takes flight once again. Woohoo! What am I going to do with you? All right, well, that's where we're going to leave the episode for today. Outside the Grand Tower with the gargoyles. <laughs> gargoyles are attacking the town. <laughs> what is that for? Toy Story Free Toy Box Mode. Oh, yeah. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, getting a little bit more interesting now, isn't it? <laughs> I still want to know more about how this even came to be. We'll get more of that. Maybe not next episode, is but... Is how the Muppets... Really? Yeah. Not sorry. Oh, well, not really, but uh, it'll be fun next time. Anyhow, have a great day and God bless.